Thank you, Christopher. And now in other news, Prime Minister Andrew Holness, head of the Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation, handed over social housing in Salt Spring St. James earlier today. Now this ministry has oversight of the social housing program that aims to improve the housing conditions of the country's poor and indigent population through the Housing Opportunity, Production and Employment HOPE program. Prime Minister Holness, in his remarks, says the government's national social housing program for the 2020 to 2021 financial year is a housing solution that is suited to the needs of the applicants. Because for the national social housing program, we are providing a housing solution that is more suited to the needs of the persons that are approved, meaning that we provide one bedroom solutions, two bedroom solutions, three bedroom solutions, and sometimes even multiple family solutions in, in another modality, which we call the upgrading of tenements. Uh, for the other programs, the solutions are usually one bedroom standalone units, or sometimes a grant is given to assist in upgrading. So it's, the government has different ways in which it assists indigent persons in obtaining housing solutions. This particular one, uh, it's more expansive and it provides a housing solution that is more in keeping with the standards set by the government, which has some impact on the price. The other modality which the National Social Housing uh, Program pursues is that of the relocation of vulnerable communities. We haven't done much of this as yet, but, yet. but we have plans in place and we will start very shortly because you would imagine that relocating entire communities uh, can be uh, a major undertaking and that takes significant planning. So the modalities that have actually started would be the provision of indigent housing and uh, the upgrading of tenement yards or big yards. Prime Minister Holness announced that of the total 316 applicants for these housing solutions, 244 of these persons have already been approved. We are expecting that we would have about 316 applications so far um, across all constituencies and uh, 244 of those applications have been approved by the oversight committee of the national social housing program. As at May 7th, 2021, a total of 29 housing units have been completed at an average cost of between seven and eight million dollars per unit. These would include two, 12 two bedrooms, one, well, two one bedrooms, and we have done one tenement yard upgrading. So that's the 29 projects. So currently, in addition to the 29, there are 15 units under active construction right across Jamaica. And we expect that those 15 will be completed very shortly. He further highlighted the benefits of these units and how it will improve the lives of the recipients. For this particular unit, and you can see the area in which it is constructed, the cost is somewhere in the region of close to $9 million. And the reason for that, obviously, would be that you're constructing on a rock, rocky surface. Uh, we, we would have had to excavate to put in proper sewage. Uh, we all know the water situation in these areas, so we would have had to make provision for water. Uh, and those things would have added to the cost. Now, Julie lives here with her sickly 84-year-old mother. 
She lives here with her daughter and her sister and five nieces oh, as young as two years old. Eh? Yes. So you can see that this three-bedroom structure is going to transform the life of not just Julie, but the extended family. Now, clearly the government can't provide a room for every person in the household. But if you look at the before and after picture, if that is not transformation, then I don't know what is. And we are doing this one house at a time. Continuing with the news, with billions owed to the National Water Commission, NWC, the company is again urging delinquent customers to settle their outstanding water bills to avoid disconnection. Mark Barnett, president of the NWC, made the call during the NWC's quarterly press briefing that was held yesterday. He explained that the company is continuing with its disconnection drive in order to collect money from customers who owe the NWC. Now, during the first quarter of 2021, Barnett said that the NWC targeted close to 22,000 accounts for disconnection, totaling approximately $2.3 billion. However, the company only managed to disconnect 17,862 accounts, valuing $1.93 billion. Of that total, less than 10,000 customers were reconnected. These reconnections resulted in only $500 million in collections between January and April 2021. Barnett said that the NWC needs this money to upgrade its infrastructure, bring water to more Jamaicans, and fix leaks. He further explained that the NWC must pay the National Works Agency, NWC, to repair roads after laying and fixing pipelines, and a huge sum also goes to the Jamaica Public Service as electricity is required to pump the water to customers. Therefore, Barnett said that it is critical for the NWC to collect from delinquent customers. And that's our news package for you tonight. Thank you for tuning in to Mellow TV Evening News at 8. I am Shelley Hill. Stay safe and pleasant viewing.